I almost forgot how seeking for new and exploring gets me going. Ideas and inspiration flood daily routines away. Piece by piece, curve by curve, road by road. And I remember what I am doing this for. What's up guys, it's Mabo here. In today's video I want to talk about finding motivation as a creative. I want to split this up in three chapters. First is challenges, working as a creative. Second is motivation levels, having high and low motivation levels and why this is even necessary for your creative path. And the third one is coping strategies, some ideas that might help you to find motivation to start working. Especially as freelancing creatives, we have no one to tell us when to start work, when to start the project or finish a project. You kind of need to be your own boss to get things done, uh, build some structure, build some habits uh, to work on a constant level. And this requires discipline in your work ethic. I caught myself many times when the thought of starting to work caused a really huge resistance in my head and I rather did nothing than just starting out and doing a little. I often delayed projects or finished them only as my guilt after procrastinating for several days got too strong. So I worked on these projects under stress and pressure rather than having a balance, taking some time, having some breaks between working and finishing the project on time without having this stress. It's still a challenge for me every day and I think we humans by nature are meant to save energy and only work when we really have to. So if we want to be productive on a certain level and not feel bad most of the time because there is some work to do, there is a need for discipline to have a work-life balance. So before we move to some strategies how you could improve, let me talk about motivation levels real quick. No one is always motivated and motivation comes in waves, but I think it's important to appreciate the highs and the lows. Positive feedback helped me to stay motivated you probably know these days when work goes really easy, you don't have to push yourself and the other way around when uh, motivating yourself is really hard and you can't get even out of bed. Positive reinforcement helps to stay motivated. It pushed me to work more. So for example, when some YouTube videos on my channel uh, work well in a period of time, I really motivated to keep on producing videos to bring up more content and it uh, felt easier to go at my desk and start working. But there are for sure also times when several negative experiences relating your work slow you down and kill your motivation. I'm sure we all prefer these times of positive reinforcement, but we have to keep in mind that we learn most of our mistakes and that we can improve better on things that did not work out perfectly well. Moving around in these waves up and down, it's always important to not judge yourself if things do not work out as you expected them to. But recap and start again better. Also a success curve never goes straight up, it always comes in waves. So it's about surfing these waves, standing up if you fail to improve for the next time. And while being on the low end of the wave, Keep in mind that every artist sometimes has insecurities, is questioning themselves and in these times you should trust your highs and not your lows. So it's all about continuity, learning out of your mistakes and improving, being ready to reinvent and adapt yourself to new situations. And in the same way, not being too hard on yourself and not to judge yourself when things do not work out straight away. And remember, you don't want to burn out, a marathon is not a sprint. We need to pace ourselves and find the right balance. So the most important part for me to get work done is uh, to have structure in my daily routine. When writing down a new routine, it's important to keep it realistic that you can keep this routine for a longer time. An unrealistic routine, which you cannot fulfill on the long run, uh, will just disappoint you and at the end demotivate you. It's really important that you plan in some quality free time, some time to reload. We creatives really need time to sit around and do nothing. Each year on the 1st of January, I'm writing down three goals I want to achieve this year. I split this up in uh, smaller goals and how I can achieve them. This really helps for an overview at the beginning of the year and makes it more tangible. To break up a big project in small steps makes starting to work easier. Telling yourself to start editing for only five minutes gets you easily into the project and kills the resistance. Mostly when I'm starting and I edit it for five minutes, I'm in the project and I don't want to stop anymore. As a balance, sport always helps me. I can blow off some steam and I feel much better and more stable after it. A working environment with other productive people working on something can really push you to do something by yourself. So if you're struggling to start working by yourself 
at home, maybe search for another environment. Always keep in mind discipline is not given. Uh, people with a high discipline have to work on it as well each day push themselves and to be constant at work requires uh, regular adjustments in your structure daily routine so failing your daily routine once failing your goals once uh, doesn't mean that you have to give up and sit around and do nothing just start again small start to build structure and start slow again as i told you it's all about standing up again and riding the wave i can give you a book recommendation the war of art it's about um, creatives having a resistance to start working and this kind of gives you some thoughts some ideas and uh, sort of pushes you that the resistance in your head is not real and that you just have to start but besides all of this never forget uh, to not be too hard on yourself it's okay not to always meet your demands and some days are just there to reload your batteries and to do nothing so guys that's about my take on finding motivation as creatives i hope i could inspire you and get you a little bit of relief if you're feeling stressed out or the resistance currently you can also check me out on instagram i post some reels and small tutorials over there if you want to support me also check my clothing brand visual minds clothing for creatives be kind to yourself and don't let yourself go peace